Coronavirus is forcing us to practice social distancing, but inmates, not so much. 12 News' Linnea Lewis joins us live in the studio with concerns from an area law firm. Linnea? Melanie, Southern Poverty Law Center is advocating for, who advocates for civil rights and works closely with those incarcerated. They're actually concerned about COVID-19 spreading throughout the prison system. Now, March 17th, the center sent Governor Tate Reeves an open letter demanding officials have a plan in place to combat the virus. They detailed how inmates are vulnerable to contracting the disease because they live in an enclosed setting and staff members who clock in and out could carry the virus with them. We haven't heard a specific plan for who's going to get tested and when. And we know that tests are in short supply for everybody. So um, too often people who are in prisons draw the short end of the stick in these situations. And uh, our fear is absolutely that may be happening here and that people may not be tested. I reached out to MDOC to see if they've tested any inmates or correctional officers. They sent me a statement that reads in part, the MDOC does not have any confirmed cases of COVID-19 among the inmate population. With many of our employees working from home, we are still gathering information to get a clear picture of their well-being. The department's Q&A posted on the website provides information about the steps being taken to prevent potential exposure and thus the spread of the virus. Well, coming up at 6 o'clock, hear more from the law firm and also from a woman who's concerned about the virus reaching her son in jail.